Ontario award scholarships to foreign students. That's a contentious question at Queen's Park these days. A program announced earlier this month would see 75 foreign PhD students a year receive four-year scholarships. Those scholarships worth about $40,000 a year or $160,000 per student. Now, the province would pay two-thirds of the cost. Universities would fund the rest. We'll hear from John Malloy, the Minister of Training, Colleges and Universities, in just a moment. First, though, the opposition Tories have started a petition to have this program cancelled. Jim Wilson is one of the MPPs behind the petition. He's the Tory critic for colleges and universities. He's on the line with us now. Jim, good morning. Good morning, Matt. What's wrong with helping students, uh, foreign students in particular, uh, well, no along. one has any problem with foreign students. In fact, we have thousands of them in the system in the Ontario colleges and universities right now. I think Ontario students, though, feel betrayed, those whose families pay taxes here and those students who pay uh, tuition fees here, that Mr. McGinney would come up with a new program, $40,000 a year. It starts with 75 students. By the end of the fourth year, it grows to 300 international students. And I meet students all the time. Uh, who simply can't afford to go to grad school because they already have over $20,000 worth of debt from their undergraduates, so they have to go to work. So we have the best and brightest here, and we should be uh, cultivating that homegrown talent uh, before we send uh, such generous scholarships uh, overseas. The government, though, says, and, and maybe this is the heart of that betrayal, that this will actually help attract the brightest students from around the world to this province. Yes, we have the best and brightest here. We also have the opportunity to have uh, those students learn and interact with smart people from elsewhere. Isn't that a good thing? Well, you know, when Mr. McGinney announced uh, earlier this year in the budget that uh, he was welcoming more foreign students, it was, uh, it was to be modeled after Australia and other, other jurisdictions that make money off of students. Uh, then his next announcement uh, a couple of weeks ago was suddenly we're going to spend uh, $30 million, uh, tax dollars and student tuition dollars from Ontario students, uh, attracting, uh, attracting international students. We have thousands and thousands of international students here. They come uh, they more than pay their way, and they're happy to be here because of the quality of education we offer. We need to give Ontario families a break and Ontario students a break and uh, make sure that our undergraduates that have very high uh, academic achievement can actually go to graduate school. There are thousands and thousands of students who each year cannot afford to go to graduate school, and they would love a $40,000 a year scholarship. So if your party were to come into power then, would you just slash the price of graduate programs, or would you make sure that those Ontario students are able to access uh, funding so that they wouldn't be left off in the side? Well, uh, Tim Hudak, the leader of the PCs, has uh, indicated that every penny of the $30 million that Dalton wants to spend uh, in this new uh, international student program uh, will be reinvested into Ontario students and Ontario families. So that's our commitment. Uh, it's an awful lot of money, especially at a time when uh, we have an over a $20 billion deficit in the province. Uh, $30 million pumped uh, into our Ontario students would be a big help to them. What happens next with this proposal to cancel the program? The government seems pretty committed to it. Well, he's backtracked on putting uh, uh, limiting chocolate milk in uh, grade schools, and he's backtracked on sex ed for... Uh, for six-year-olds, so I think Dalton McGinty might backtrack on this if we keep the pressure up. But I'm uh, I'm on the road now, meeting uh, meeting with students who are, are very much feel uh, betrayed by this program, and we have. Do do they though? Do they, do students actually are they actually worked up about this? Oh yeah, they're really worked up. About I mean, the government and, no you, you, they, and the opposition yeah. certainly is because this is politics. But on the ground, honestly, do people actually care about this? There's a, a visceral feeling out there that Dalton McGinty's out of touch and that. Uh, that uh, this program, uh, no one asked for it, and yet student groups uh, and students have consistently said, look, we've got the highest tuition fees in all of Canada right now. We need assistance uh, pumped into, uh, into our college and universities now, and international students should pay their own way for the most part. Jim Wilson, good to speak with you. Thank you, Matt. Jim Wilson, one of the MPPs behind a petition to have foreign scholarship programs cancelled.